They're called whippets. One puff of the high is 30 seconds. In each tiny cartridge, eight grams of nitrous oxide, and it's no laughing matter. It's real bad. They're all over the place. It's a very powerful, euphoric, dissociative, out-of-body experience that can be very dangerous. And proof of how bad the problem is in southwest Detroit can be found in these that have littered the edges of neighborhood streets, tossed away after users crack them open to inhale the gas inside. They're called whippets because they're used to dispense whipped cream. They are driving around while they pass the canister around to each other and um, they end up crashing the cars. In southwest Detroit, concerned citizens, community activists, and lawmakers have teamed up to educate parents and children as well as clean up the whippets. They're part of the Whippet Wipeout Campaign Coalition because studies show a growing number of people are using whippets to get high. It's something that um, we're starting to see more of. Um, I know that there's been uh, a lot of data that shows early on kids really under the age of 18, we start to see that as sometimes the first substance of choice. Dr. Elizabeth Bulat heads up addiction medical services at the Henry Ford Health System. Long term, it really can cause major medical problems, including long term brain damage, um, vitamin B12 deficiency, which can lead to neurological problems, bone marrow problems seizures and unfortunately long-term use can cause psychosis and what's happening after they get high they're just throwing it out into the community volunteers with the whippet wipeout coalition have picked up tens of thousands of whippets canisters or tanks that are clearly not being used to make whipped cream clearly if you're selling them at a gas station or at a liquor store, this may not be the intended purpose um, by that purchaser. Um, but because it does have a legitimate use, we couldn't outright ban the sale of them. So State Senator Stephanie Chang worked to prohibit the sale of whippets to minors in Michigan. She and Representative Joe Bellino now working to make it illegal for stores to sell any object designed to inhale nitrous oxide, classifying it as drug paraphernalia. We don't want to criminalize the the people using uh, that might have a problem, but we do want to make it harder for them to access this um, and hopefully that'll help address the problem. We get a lot of kids here at Clark Park. And something that has helped decrease the littering of these whippets has involved closing the park at nine and making their presence known. Parking lots are, are areas where I feel that they're they feel comfortable and uh, so we made them uncomfortable. But what may be most important is that parents be able to recognize whippets and be comfortable talking to their children about the risks of getting high with these dangerous inhalants. This Detroit police officer spoke to lawmakers about one young man. He was doing too many of these whippets, got brain damage. He lost his, uh, his motor skills. He can no longer walk. He's in a wheelchair and he's having a hard time talking. We're here to to raise our kids to become healthy. And instead, they could literally walk down the street to the dollar store in the liquor store and purchase these whippets. And if you'd like to learn more about whippets and the Wipeout Coalition, we'll have a link in this story on WXYZ.com. In Southwest Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.